Hello and welcome to another Master Art Tutorial. I'm the Master Artist and today we're going to be drawing a bowl of soup. So let's dive right in and get to it. So first we're going to start by establishing the top half here of the bowl. This is the round area where all your ingredients will go. So be sure to leave a generous amount of space, like so. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the bottom portion of the bowl. I've opted for a more generic round shape, but you're more than welcome to draw whatever you like shape-wise. Okay, so now that we have the shape established, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple details here. Just kind of spruce up the bowl a bit. Give it that little aesthetic line there. And a little squiggly wave pattern. Okay. So now that we have our bowl, uh, we're going to have to decide what kind of soup you want. Um, I think for this soup, we're going to go ahead and just do like a mixed vegetable and meat soup. Uh, we're going to start off by putting some fresh wild mushrooms onto the side here. So we're going for restaurant quality looking food, so try your best to kind of make this look realistic. As you see here. And, and don't forget, when you're drawing these vegetables, you know, don't be afraid to mess with the shapes and sizes. You know, vegetables come in all shapes and sizes, and this it's all right. All right, so we got our all of our vegetables established here. A little detail to them. All right, great. So now for the meat, I've, I've gone with something a little unorthodox. I've chosen meatballs. However, uh, you know they're not the most common thing you find in a bowl of soup. However, they are quite delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and add those into this bowl. First we start with the smaller meatball, back, and then we're, we're going to draw a bigger meatball in front because of perspective, right? That's the, the first thing you'll see. Okay, um, it doesn't hurt to add more vegetables. We're going to go ahead and uh, add this mushroom behind the meatballs. Okay. Adds a nice little aesthetic flair there. And to fill this negative space, I'm going to just put some, some seaweed crisp strips here, as you would see in ramen. And they really just kind of take away that negative space there. Okay, perfect. Uh, the only thing we're missing now is um, some soup. We actually don't have any soup, so we're going to go ahead and make light but confident brush strokes to occupy this bowl. Okay, that looks really great. Um, now, I wasn't always a master. I, I used to be a student at one point, and my master taught me that in order to create truly beautiful art, no matter what you draw, you must add a voluptuous pair of breasts. So I'm going to go ahead and try and make my master proud by putting his work into effect. So here we go. You know, don't go too overboard with these, but make it so that they really add that nice aesthetic touch to the bowl of soup that we're all looking for. Go ahead and draw the nipples here, and then lightly the areola behind it. Alright, now that's looking quite great. Um, we're going to add a couple steam lines to it, really show how fresh and piping hot this is. And then for the final touch, I want the lighting to come in from the left side on an angle down here. So we're going to go ahead and change the brush size and establish our lighting by putting shadows under the bowl of soup. This shows the direction it's coming in, the, the shadow that's casting, and you know, it just really adds that realistic flair to it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is our final product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any requests for things you want to see me draw, go ahead and message me and I'll do my best to accommodate. But until then, I'll see you next Master Art Tutorial.